This is Susan from Mary Jane Gardening Club, and today we're making smokable blends. The first blend that I'm going to make is a sleep blend. And let me look at the recipe that I've created. We're going to use, and you can use any sleepy strain. So I like to use Dosey Dough, but you can use Granddaddy Purple, God's Gift, Northern Lights, or maybe you have another favorite sleepy time strain and you're welcome to use whichever one you have on hand. So what I like to do is for one batch, I use two tablespoons of gr a grinded strain to put in the, in the glass jar. And but this today I'm making a triple batch. So it will be six tablespoons of your, of your cannabis strain. And maybe you can use a couple different types. If you want, you can use a really super sedating strain and maybe a high CBD strain that's really good for inflammation in case you have chronic pain. So you can get a double whammy here. So first things first, we're going to put one teaspoon of mugwort. And so we're making a triple batch. So it'll be three teaspoons of mugwort. And I've already harvested some mugwort that was growing wild. And I dried it and I ground it up. And so this is the stuff. Let me put some on my hand. And you can see what's really cool about mugwort is that it's super fluffy and it's really nice. It's not harsh on your lungs at all. It's really nice. So I'm gonna do three teaspoons of mugwort. And the other thing mugwort is really good for, it's for inducing some really fun dreams. So if you've been having a problem and you haven't been dreaming lately, Mugwort is your go-to sleep enhancement. So we're gonna do, so that's about two teaspoons. So we're gonna do that. The next herb we're gonna include in this, our sleep, oh, sleep smoking blend is skullcap. And skullcap, you might already be familiar with. A lot of people use it for tea. It is very, very sedating. So we're just going to use a little bit of that as well. We're only going to do one teaspoon per recipe. So this is a triple batch. So I'll be using three teaspoons. No skull cap was smokable, but I did the research and I found out that it is. Not all herbs are smokable, so do your research. Skull cap has been used at least, at least as far as I know, since Shakespeare's time. It was included in every cottage garden as a sleep aid. The next ingredient is passion flower. Now the passion flower that I have, I got a lot of these herbs from Frontier Herbs, and you can buy these in not one in not such big packaging. So if you want it, if you would like to experiment with some of these, you can find all of these herbs online. I like the company Frontier. You can get everything organic and you can get it in smaller four ounce uh, packages and also maybe you could go in with your friends or maybe do this as like Christmas presents or something like that that might be really fun but the nice thing is also is these herbs stretch your stash so if you're down if your mother hubbard's covers are bare because it's almost it's getting towards the end of the season then this is a really good way to stretch what you have left passion flower is psychoactive on its own so go slow with passion flower but it's also good for anxiety so we are going to use one tablespoon of passion flower for one batch so we're going to do three this is a three batch recipe so we're going to do three tablespoons i'm going to put it in my ninja because as you can see the way it came is a very rough grind. So we need it a little bit more powdery. So I'm gonna put three in here and then grind it. So I ground up the passion flower and this is what it looks like. So we're gonna add three tablespoons of the passion flower to our blend. Next we have lavender. And lavender, I really like including lavender because it has a really good smell and some of these herbs tend to be on the stinky side. So lavender definitely makes it more palatable, flavorful. And the lavender buds that I picked fresh off of a plant, I didn't dry them. They have a little bit of moisture, 
which is great because it adds moisture to your mix. And you want, you want it dry, but not bone dry. You, you want a little bit of moisture. So I'm going to add, so I've got two teaspoons of lavender. So times three is six teaspoons, which is two tablespoons. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of lavender. So I ground this up and you can see how fluffy this is. Isn't that a wonderful consistency? That smells divine. The next ingredient that I have is rose petals. I happen to grow these rose petals from an old fashioned pink variety that has a very old fashioned smell and I absolutely adore them. So what I do during the year is I pick the rose, ro roses, I dry them, and then I grind them up so that I have them when I need them. So the recipe calls for one tablespoon of roses. We're doing a triple batch, so I'll put three tablespoons. Our last ingredient in our sleep blend is going to be lemon balm. And it's one tablespoon per batch, so we're gonna do three tablespoons. Lemon balm is a really good all-around herb for whatever ails you. It's, it's absolutely positively amazing. I love, love, love lemon balm. The lemon balm came like this, so I'm going to put a little bit more of a grind on it. I wouldn't put too much, but I'm going to grind it just ever so slightly. So I put a little bit more grind on the lemon balm so you can see it. It's pretty fluffy, and what's really nice is we want to get a really fluffy mix to put. Um, last night, we packed a couple of cones with some of these blends. Uh, we tried them in the vape, and we also tried them in the bong, and we also tried them in the zucchini. And I would have to say, I liked the vape the best. It was the smoothest. All you gotta do is throw your herbs in there shake get a good mix load up a cone a pipe a bong a vape cartridge and you're ready to rock and roll the sleep blend do not drive a car after you consume this 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 is a really powerful blend some of the herbs in there like skullcap are very 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 sedating so you want to use this when you're ready to go to bed and just start out with one hit, maybe two hits, but go slow. Uh, Brenda did some last night. She used her new vaporizer. I sent the link out to everybody um, because they're having a big sale. I know they're a little pricey, but her back pain was a nine when she before she she took a puff of the smoking blend, and her pain went down to a six within like. A minute I would say this is a really good stuff thanks for joining us today at Mary Jane Gardening Club and we have a couple of the recipes and we'll put those on the agenda for smoking blends I highly highly recommend this and happy healing